Hi children, you have already completed exercise 3b and 3c in part 1. Today, you can learn how to do the problems in exercise 3a. Finding missing numbers in addition and subtraction. Here you can see an example. Rahul has four lollipops. His mother gave some more. Now he has nine lollipops. How many lollipops did his mother give? Here we don't know how many lollipops his mother gave. How can we find this number? First we can write this by using addition. 4 plus dash equals 9 how can we find this missing number to get this number we can use subtraction that means if we subtract 4 from 9 we will get the answer 9 minus 4 equals 5 that means his mother gave 5 lollipops here we use subtraction to find the missing number in addition. In addition, the number which we are adding together is called addend. If any one of the addend is missing in addition, we can find that missing number by using subtraction here in this example 2 and 3 are addends and 5 is the sum here in first case 2 plus dash equals 5 second number is missing to get that number we can use subtraction 5 minus 2 5 minus 2 is 3. In second case, dash plus 3 equals 5. Here first number is missing. How can we find this missing number? We can use subtraction 5 minus 3. It is equal to 2. So remember we can use subtraction to find missing number in addition even it is first or second number finding missing number in addition here you can see first example 21 plus dash equals 75 here second number is missing to find this missing number we can use subtraction 75 minus 21 first we can arrange these numbers and do subtraction we can start from one's place 5 minus 1 4 in tens place 7 minus 2 it is 5 so answer is 54 then second example 373 plus dash equals 604 here also second number is missing we can use subtraction to find this missing number 604 minus 373 first we can arrange these numbers and start subtraction from one's place in one's place 4 and 3 4 minus 3 is 1 in tens place 0 and 7 we can't subtract 7 from 0 because 7 is more so we should borrow from hundreds place if we borrow 1 from 100's place, the 6 will be 5 and in 10's place, now it is 10. Now we can do 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7 is 3. So in 10's place, we will get 3. Then in 100's place, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. So answer is 231. Next example, dash plus 109 equals 156. In this addition, 
first number is missing. Here also we can use subtraction to find this missing number. So do subtraction 156 minus 109. Remember always we should write bigger number on the top here bigger number 156 so we can write that first and then 109 and start subtraction from ones place here in ones place 6 and 9 9 is more so we can't subtract 9 from 6 so we should borrow borrow 1 from tens place to make it as 16 if we borrow 1 from tens place it will be 4 and 1's place will be 16 now do subtraction 16 minus 9 is 7 4 minus 0 is 4 in hundreds place 1 minus 1 is 0 so answer is 47. Next, how to find a missing number in subtraction? Here see one example. There are 7 birds. Some birds flew away. Now only 4 are left. How many birds flew away? How can we find this? First we can write this problem by using subtraction. 7 minus dash equals 4. To find this missing number we can subtract 7 and 4. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Now we got the answer. How many birds flew away? 3 birds flew away. Here in subtraction second number is missing. To find this second number we use subtraction. See this example 5 minus 1 equals 4. Here first number is 5. This is called minuend. Second number is 1. It is called subtrahend. Then the answer is difference. Here difference is 4. We can use subtraction to find subtrahend. See same example. 5 minus dash equals 4. Here second number is missing. It is subtrahend. How can we find this missing number? We can subtract 5 and 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So the answer is 1. Remember these points. We are using subtraction to find addends. We can use subtraction to find subtrahend also. Find missing number in subtraction. First example 35 minus dash equals 15. We can use subtraction to find this missing number. Subtract 35 and 15. We can arrange these numbers and subtract. In one's place 5 and 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0. In tens place 3 and 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. So answer is 20. Next example, 81 minus dash equals 43. Here also we can use subtraction to find the missing number. Subtract 81 and 43. Here in one's place, 1 and 3. Here 3 is more. So we should borrow from 10's place. In 10's place, 8. If we borrow 1 from 8, it will be 7. Now 1's place will be 11. 11 minus 3. 11 minus 3 is 8. In 10's place, 7 minus 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. 
so the answer is 38 let's practice some word problems word problems are the way which we can use the mathematical skills to apply to real life situations see first example the teacher has 37 notebooks to correct she corrected some notebooks there were still 12 notebooks left to be corrected how many notebooks has she corrected so far here teacher has to correct a total of 37 notebooks we don't know how many notebooks she has corrected but it is given the number of notebook which is left that is 12 we can write this by using subtraction 37 minus dash equals 12 here second number is missing to find this missing number we can use subtraction let's do 37 minus 12 remember here we should write 37 first because 37 is total number of notebooks in one's place 7 minus 2 it is 5 in tens place 3 minus 1 that is 2 so answer is 25 she has corrected 25 notebooks so far next example a new pair of shoes cost rupees 250 amit has rupees 195 with him how much more money does he need to buy the shoes here Amit has 195 rupees. He needs some more money that we don't know. Total cost of shoes is rupees 250. So we can write this by using addition 195 plus dash equals 250. Here to find this missing number we can use subtraction 250 minus 195 remember we should write 250 first because it is the total cost of shoes now do subtraction start from ones place here in ones place 0 and 5 0 is less and 5 is more so we should borrow from tens place if we borrow 1 from tens place this 5 will be 4 and in 1's place we will get 10 now we can do subtraction 10 minus 5 that is 5 in 1's place we got 5 next tens place can we subtract 4 minus 9 no so again we should borrow from hundreds place now in hundreds place 1 in tens place 14 14 minus 9 is 5 then in hundreds place 1 minus 1 that is 0 so answer is 55 he needs rupees 55 more 